Ever since ChatGPT was released, it always had one drawback, which was it did not have up-to-date information. But not anymore. ChatGPT introduced web browsing and with the help of it, you can have access to the most up-to-date information or content, but it's only available for the ChatGPT Plus or ChatGPT4 users. Well, this opens up the world full of possibilities. Now you can run any prompt which made no sense before. You can do market research, content scripting, and many more. And today we are going to talk about web browsing in ChatGPT. But before we move forward, I would like to tell you that Btenix is an exclusive AI tool workshop. Do check it out. Link is in the description. Well, ChatGPT launched this same feature in early September 2023 for every ChatGPT user. But it was taken down for some reason and now it's finally back with all of these new features. Now, what are the features of web browsing in ChatGPT? Partnership with Binge. ChatGPT is now partnered with Binge, which allows you to directly search the web and access relevant information within the chat interface. No more switching between windows and tabs. Second, real-time insights. Need the latest news on the specific topic? ChatGPT can now analyze real-time web data and provide you with fresh, up-to-date information without you having to manually search. Source of confidence. Whether you are using ChatGPT for research or content creation, it can now gather its sources directly from web, adding credibility and transparency to your work. Now, what are the advantages of web browsing in ChatGPT? Well, there are many advantages. Enhanced accuracy. ChatGPT's access to real-time web data ensures your creation are based on latest facts and figures. Streamlined workflow. No more juggling between windows or tabs. Research, summarize and create within the familiar ChatGPT interface, saving you a ton of time. Stuck for inspiration, ChatGPT can use web browsing to explore related topics, finding unique angles and ingest fresh ideas into your work. Now, getting started with web browsing is really simple. First, you have to navigate to ChatGPT's setting and enable the Browse with Binge feature. And there you go, it's just that easy. But make sure you have ChatGPT4 or ChatGPT Plus account. It's only gonna work there. Now, here are some of the prompts which were half-baked before, but now completely makes sense. But before I tell you about those prompts, I would like to warn you with something. See, AI is taking over the world. In such a short span of time, we have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs being replaced by AI and whatnot. And you don't want to get affected by this recessive wave, right? Well, AI won't replace you. The people using AI will. If you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours of AI tool workshop in which we will teach you about the best AI tools to upscale, increase your productivity and enhance your career. Make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below. Now, the prompts which I'm about to tell you, you obviously need ChatGPT4 to use them. But if you don't have ChatGPT4, there is another way to access it. And obviously for free. To do that, what you have to do is you have to go to binge.com, which is obviously of Microsoft. And there, as you can see, it's written up there, chat with GPT4, which means now there's a correlation between ChatGPT and Binge, which allows you to use Binge in ChatGPT and ChatGPT in Binge. But I'll recommend you to go with ChatGPT4 because it has many more features, many more plugins than Binge could ever have. So my first recommendation is ChatGPT4, but if you can't, then you can definitely go with Binge. For example, with the help of this prompt, you'd be able to write any advertising campaign for your product services to your targeted audience. But this prompt never made a professional or perfect campaign. But with the help of web browsing, what you can do is you can add your course link or your product link or your service link and ChatGPT is gonna go through your course, your product or your service and make a best script out of it with this basic prompt. Isn't it incredible? Now the next prompt is for content creators. If you don't have any idea or any inspiration for any content, what maximum of the creator does is go to YouTube and search for content for hours. But now what you can do is you can go to ChatGPT and ask it to analyze any YouTube channel you want and ask ChatGPT to give content out of those YouTube channels. Very beneficial for any business. As web browsing is new and there are possibilities that some of the results may not be appropriate or may not fulfill our expectations. But in the long run, it's definitely gonna fix every single thing. As you can see, AI is growing so fast so it's definitely gonna be worth it in the future. Now, tell me in the comment section, what do you think about this new web browsing feature? Personally, I think it's very awesome. It had created many opportunities for many more business owners. Tell me, what do you guys think? 
And yeah, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video among your friends. And also, if you're interested in more AI tools like ChatGPT, do check out our AI tool workshop. Link is in the description. Believe me, it's super cheap and it's gonna be full of information. Just go and check it out. We'll see you there. Thank you.